So here's how to remove a background that you don't want. So let's say I have this really great background and I want to add an image of myself into that background. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert the picture and you can see there I am. But the problem with this is I have this background. Now I purposely had a picture taken of myself in front of this background so I can easily remove it. So when I bring in the picture and click on it, it usually puts me into format mode. One of the items or options under format mode is remove background. If I click on remove background, it will remove unwanted portions of the picture. So I click on it and it gives me two choices, mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove. So notice that it tries to tell me which areas it thinks I should remove already. Now notice it is removing my finger. So I, I think I would like to have my finger. So I click on this and I click here. It gives me a little pen and I draw that pen and notice what happens. It will keep my fingers. Maybe I want the bottom of my shirt and my sleeve again. Click on it and it shows that. So there we have it. If I go here, I want to make sure I get every piece and it shows again me against that background. If I click on keep changes, there you have it. I have actually removed all of the elements uh, that I don't want. And so now I can actually uh, add this on here. And what I might want to do is format the picture and I may even want to add a little bit of a shadow there. So I can add a shadow to myself. You can see there that's the line kind of makes me pop a little bit and I can resize, move this image wherever I need. And that's how easy it is to remove the background. Now you might say, well, that's great, but I don't have pictures of myself. I want to remove the background of something else. You can do that as well. So let's go ahead and find an image of a woman on a cell phone. And maybe we want a brunette for this particular um, scene that we're creating. And let's see what we've got here. So here we go and we'll do an insert. And now we can see that um, there's some this white background. So again, we double click, we get remove background. And this one's gonna be a little bit trickier because a lot of similar colors, but that's okay. I'll simply click on areas to keep and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing my lines of areas to keep. Now, this becomes a little bit tricky. Uh, if you recall, I had no hair. She has a lot of hair and some of the hair is wispy. And so it becomes a little bit more difficult to extract it from the background. So you can, if you want to go to view and you can go to zoom and you can zoom in on the picture. And once we zoom in, we can grab these little strands of hair and try to get those to fix. Now I found it's a little bit impossible to try to get everything. So the cleaner the picture, the better that you can do. We can also feather the outside of it as well or soften the edges once we get the image there and that will allow it to kind of be fuzzy. But let's just go back to uh, fit, fitting this to the window. And here we are and let's remove the remainder uh, or let's keep the remainder of her sweater uh, of the hair that we have. We can just, again, draw these lines and make all of this happen. So there we go. Um, and I am going to uh, actually remove these areas. This was not a good job by myself here. And we'll remove some of the more white. We've got it maybe even here. And then we can, so keep changes. And so now we have the changes. Now, one of the things that I like to do to make sure I have the changes is I'll insert a shape like this and I'll send it to the back. And now I can see kind of how good of a job I've done or how not good of a job I've done. So maybe we want to um, soften the edges a little bit. Oh, maybe that was way too much. Okay. And so um, that kind of helps a little bit. But also notice that I missed a spot. So again, I can click on the image, go to remove background, mark areas to remove. So I can go back into my images and make changes that maybe I forgot about or didn't see the first time. Now I can simply copy this image. I can paste it here. I can remove myself. And now I have an image of her on the phone. So that's how easy it is to remove a background.